Okay, so I was getting bored because um, actually I am working as an um, English teacher in the ESL in the online world of teaching. So um, now, um, since I don't have students, so I will um, make this video and I'm going to discuss about the uh, structures of English, especially the uh, subject verb agreement. So, uh, but before that, I just want to uh, introduce my name. So, uh, by the way, I am I am a freelancer. I'm Sarah, and um, I am a licensed professional teacher. Uh, I am a graduate and bachelor in secondary education. I took the major in English, and currently I passed the licensure examination for teachers. So there, um, because I did not uh, pursue working in the uh, government yet in the public schools. So I prefer to work as a um, a freelancer uh, on a te uh, online teacher in the, uh, yes, in the ESL, English Second Language. And mostly, uh, most of my students are foreigners from China, Japan, and America. Okay, so now um, I will give you some tips on what are the uh, the ways or what are those structures in English and how to uh, make sentence according to its structures. So there is a, an agreement with that subject verb agreement. And now we will tackle about the, uh, the first one. Okay. The first one is, um, it says here, Um, make the verb make the verb agree with its subject and not with a word in between, not in the word in between. So, kasi dyan na mo, guys, this is my pen match. So, kanjo na siya copy. Alright, so for example, mm, um, hi, alright, hi, and take of uh, high intake of mm, cigarettes is cause damage to our um respire respiratory respiratory drop okay so as you observe here um our subject is um intake uh cigarettes right so high intake of cigarettes it says there and a verb is cut okay so it says here that make the verb agree with its subject so since our uh, subject is cigarettes and it is plural, so we are going to use the plural verb also, right? For example, um, um, The pollution um, is um, the main problem of our environment. 
So as you observe here, our subject is pollution. So this is our subject, all right? Okay, this one is our subject. And as you observe, it is single. So now we are going to use a singular verb also. Okay, so is here is a singular verb. This belongs to linking verb, right? Okay. Next, the second rule is that, um, for example, um, okay. All right, I'm going to erase this first. We'll proceed to the second group. Okay. All right. So the second rule is that mm -hmm. um, with subject joined with or or. So when a subject is when a subject is joined um, with or or nor mm, or neither. Um, neither nor okay so um the verb agree the verb agree with a part with a part of the subject of the subject near to the verb right so there for example um a driver a driver's license license or credit credit card is needed okay needed so there um it says here this is the second rule All right, this is the second rule. So when the subject is joined with or nor, neither, nor, so the verb agree with the part of the subject near to the verb. So in the statement, if we are going to um, select or choose, so where is our subject here? It's, mm, they are combined with this word or, right? So this refers to singular subject. So that's why. We use this verb singular, which is is. And also, as you observe, credit card here is only one. So that is singular subject, all right? So for example, um, I will give to you the most indefinite pronouns that are um, singular, uh, singular indefinite pronouns. So I will give you the uh, those indefinite pronoun that is that are singular. So the first one is anybody. So this anybody is a singular um pronoun, infinite pronouns, and when you use this, you also use a singular verb, right? Next, anyone. Next, anything. Next is um each. So for example, each of the each of us has its own responsibility. So each. Next, either. Either he or I will go to school. Or next, everybody. Everybody. When you hear the word everybody, this is singular indefinite pronoun. Everybody is required. Everybody should participate paid to the said project okay next everyone 
to everyone. We know about this many times. Everyone, every one of us has to take care of our environment. Next, um, everything. So when you hear the word everything, it is a singular indefinite pronoun. Next, neither. Neither. Right? Neither. Next is nobody. Nobody, nobody but you. Next, no one. Here, nothing. Next is somebody. Next is um, someone. Next is something. All right, so those are the singular indefinite pronouns. So always remember that, okay? Okay, so I will give you time to look at this. All right, so now I'm, I'm going to erase this one, okay? So now let's move to the second, uh, the third uh, rule. Okay, so the third rule is, um, so I hope to erase this one, I don't know. I made this work. Next is the is. Uh, however, a few indefinite pronouns such as all. So, okay. So there are still uh, indefinite pronouns such as all. Um, any, none, some. So these are. Um, this may be singular or plural, depending on the noun or pronoun they refer to. So, for example, um, some of our luggage was lost. Okay. So, some of our luggage was lost. So as you observe here, luggage. So, this is our subject. So we use this word um, some. This refers to many, but this is it has a specific um, luggage. It's our main subject. So this is singular. So we th there we use the singular verb also. Next, for example, none. None of his advice makes sense. Okay. So none of his advice makes sense. So where is our subject? Near, it's none. So none of his advice. So this is singular, so we use the verb singular, okay? Next, um, I'm going to erase this first. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Next is number five rule. Okay. Make the verb. We are going to make the verb uh, agree with its subject um, when, even when, all right, even when. Um, the, the subject follows, follows there are there are few people. inside 
the uh, hospital to there. We use this uh, so the verb where is few people, so it means a lot. Okay, this is plural subject, so we are going to use the word um, are. Okay, so if, if for example there is uh, there is a person, so only one subject, so we use the verb is. Next, um, there, where, uh, there, where. A student and teacher um, inside uh, the school. Okay. So here, she observed our uh, subject is a uh, students and teacher. Okay. So this is plural. And we are going to use the verb where. So do not be confused because this where is the plural form of uh, the past tense and the plural form of are in the past tense. Okay. All right. So that is. So I think it's so much with this. We will end this one. I will continue this next time because I still have to or check if I have booking class. So bye bye for now. I hope to see you next time. Please follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am here. I will add and give you some knowledge about English. Not only English, but also I will give you some tips about mathematics. Okay. So bye for now. Bye. See you. Hope you will subscribe.